Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is a review of Chaos Cube by Alfonso Abajuela. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe? Check out, of course, onlinemagic.co. That is my membership site. I've been going for 10 years, 900 videos, special guests uh, uploaded. Everything's uploaded, the live sessions every week that we have. So you get to watch 150 odd of them so far and hundreds more videos on card magic, coin magic, rope magic. And I'm in the middle of creating a new uh, course. That's the complicated word I was looking for. Uh, on elastic band magic, rubber band magic. So. Uh, have a look at that. Look at the Trustpilot reviews. That's the important thing. Don't take my word for it. It's mine. I'm biased. And like and subscribe if I haven't said that already. Uh, I always say that and I was all, I've always said it as well. So I've said it twice now. Chaos Cube. Rubik's Cube Magic. Love a bit of Rubik's Cube Magic. And if you're not a Cube Magic person, you're wrong. All right, you're not wrong, of course, um, but it's, I just love it. I love doing it. I love learning it and performing it. It goes down well. I've got it in my stage show, close up, uh, and it's great. But I do struggle sometimes with learning a lot of the algorithm rhythms. I'm going back to uh, a lot of them now with Refractor, uh, with Kev G, Colin Klaus, if you like your non-gimmick stuff. But this is a gimmicked Rubik's Cube. Uh, sort of. Well, it is, but it's not a gimmick cast. It hasn't got a thing on it. When I heard this was a gimmick cube, I was like, well, it's got a, a bit on it or a piece or something that will come off and on it. It isn't gimmicked in that way, but it is in another way. And that's all we'll say about that. What it does is an instant solve. So a lot of the instant solves you will see uh, with non-gimmicked cubes, it looks like that, but it's a hell of a lot easier and it's even more instant or, or one of them is. This is based on um, Mike Nichols and Daryl's, or Daryl popularised it, I think. I think it was Mike Nichols. Is that the right name? If I haven't got that, apologise in advance. I think it's right, if I haven't got that right. Um, the, uh, not, oh, what's it called, called again? Not the Mystic Cube. The thing, oh, I'm going to embarrass myself again, aren't I? Enchanted Cube. There you go. Enchanted Cube. So... Uh, and it does the same with that, but with some differences. Now, I haven't played with Enchanted Cube, but it seems to be, and again, I looked into this, but I, I might be wrong. It seems to be that you can do this, uh, this kind of slow solve with it, with one layer at a time. You can't hand it out to be examined like the Enchanted Cube, and there's some more stuff, which I don't know. But anyway, this is a, a kind of enhancement of it thorough as anything you like but that's not important is it well it is but what is important is it good is it doable and uh and do i like it so i love non-gimmick stuff but i also love gimmick stuff so i'm not precious about any of that for those people that want to do some an instant solve that is super easy and it is super easy with a couple of caveats right this is going to be good. Now, some people might go, well, why don't you just learn it to do it with a, a normal cube? Well, I, you might not want to. It takes a lot of practice to learn those algorithms. You have to have a certain type of dedication. And I do think it's completely fair that someone might want to do something that looks really visual, looks great on social media, which I think is valid, also looks good live um, without putting all that work in. I'm, I'm fine with that. You might not want to get deep into it and you might think, yeah, I'll have a look at this. One thing is it isn't examinable, as I said about the other one, and with Enchanted Cube, and I think that may be a problem for some people. It's never really much of a problem. I mean, I'll just put it away and get on with something else, but some people may uh, find that an issue. We'll come back to another couple of things in a minute that may be a problem for some people. But first of all, it is easy. Now, the caveat I was mentioning, that he says no sleight of hand is involved, and you don't have to be able to solve a cube. No, you don't have to be able to solve a cube. That, to me, is a little bit of a problem. Um, because if you mess this up, you're going to have to get a screwdriver out and sort it out. Now, I did do that yesterday, and I went, oh, I've got to get a screwdriver now. It took about two minutes to sort out. Once you know what you've got to do, it is really easy. It's not really that fiddly, but you're not going to be able to do it on a phone. You're going to have to sit somewhere and do it. Now, there's not much of a reason why you should do that, other than if you're learning the algorithms. And... Some people are going to be going, what do you mean algorithms? You said it was super easy, you didn't have to do all that. You don't. And this is where it comes into it. You don't have to be able to solve it, you don't have to be able to do it. But if you want to put in all the full shuffles and things like that that make this more convincing, 
then even though you're not going to have to solve it, you're going to have to sit there and learn something. And even though it's not sleight of hand, it is kind of memory work. It isn't once you can do it, but you've got to learn it and remember it. The, the patterns, when I say algorithms, if you're not a cube person, the patterns you've got to do to make it look like the cube's mixed and that you're mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, and then getting to the point where you do this instant solve. So it's going to take a bit of work if you want to do that. Now, you don't have to. You can take it out of the box. You can drop it and do the drop solve and it looks great, but you're going to want to do a little bit more than that. So you're going to learn the full shuffle. You don't have to learn the ones he gives you. He gives you one really, really simple one and one that's going to take a bit more memory work. Um, they're fine and there are loads more out there. Again, looking back to Kev G and Colin Klaus's refractor, loads on there and you'll just find them everywhere. But there is some full shuffles that don't work with this. I know there isn't actually, but they all do. No, ignore that, actually. Right, uh, and getting into it and getting out of it, you know, getting to a point where it looks mixed before you do the full shuffle, you're going to have to remember how to do that, but that is really, really easy. That's not going to make much sense, but the point of it is you can't just get out, do all the stuff, making it look as convincing as Alfonso does on the trailer without learning all that. But learning the stuff isn't difficult, but you're just going to have to gain that confidence. The solves that you get, you get the drop solve, which is really easy. All of them, the toss solve, the one where I put a line, I threw it over there and everything fell apart and I still can't find a bit to it. And I've been looking for it obsessively today. Um, all really, really simple. Yes, you're going to have to do them properly. Make sure you be careful of your angles. We'll come back to angles in a minute. And then the one at a time solve is going to take, you know, it's, it doesn't say sleight of hand, it isn't sleight of hand, but the, when you get one layer at a time, it kind of is the same as sleight of hand because you're learning to do things with your fingers that you might not be used to doing. Again, not difficult, but it is going to take a little bit of time. The angles, you've got to be a little bit careful with. Now, if you're standing back performing, it's fine. If you're doing close up, you've just got to be a bit Oh, it's, again, it's not too difficult and you're going to have to not hang around in certain positions for too long. But again, the way people are going to watch it and perceive this, you're not going to have much of a problem. But you can't do it completely surrounded if you're holding it out like this. I think it's really interesting. I think it looks good. It's easy in a lot of the other stuff. The, the response on social media, even though, as usual, I play with it, perform it, don't perform it to the best of my ability, and it still gets a positive response, says something that it does look good, and it does look just as good in real life than it does on social media. I think it's a really lovely thing. It's $25 at time of recording. You get the cube. You get an RD cube, this Henry Harrius RD cube, which isn't a, um, which is a speed cube. Now, with the original, apparently you didn't get a speed cube, um, with the Enchanted Cube, with this you do, it's a good quality cube. Now it's not the best speed cube in the world, but it's not 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars plus. So with the RD Cube, I think it's solid, it's good. If you want to get serious in the speed cubing, you probably want to get a different kind of cube that doesn't hang up so much, but that doesn't matter for this. And the good thing is this goes with all your other stuff. I love Henry stuff, I've got it all, I perform 90% of the stuff that I've got. So if you already do that, it goes with that, which I think is quite an important thing if you're gonna start mixing your cube effects up. So if you like your cube magic, great fun. If you haven't really got any cube magic, it's a good way to get into it, to f get a feel for it, because there's nothing that complex about it. And then you can, uh, and I would easily take this out and show people, would I take this out on a close-up gig is my main thing. Not really, because I already do stuff with cubes, but that's a little bit different, isn't it? But I think Rubik's Cube magic is good. I know it's good because people like it, so stop saying it isn't, some of you out there. Um, but it is not for everybody, of course. So I've really enjoyed it. Chaos Cube uh, from Vanishing Ink, of course. And thank you for sending that to me. Any questions, I would have missed out stuff. So uh, do put them below and I will answer them on Thursdays at five o'clock UK time or different times. So make sure you press a little buy bell icon when you like and subscribe. And, uh, and I'll answer them on, on those days or answer your comment as well. Thanks very much. Have a great one. Take care and go now after looking at the links for that and to onlinemagic.co. Cheers. Oh, and Instagram at Real Magic Review where I do stories or at Steve Faulkner where I do other stuff too. Cheers.